Tiny pieces of fabric continue to be found and taken away for forensic testing as the new search for clues to the fate of William Tyrrell reached its eighth day. For detectives, this is a very personal crusade and they remain sure they can finally solve the mystery of the missing boy. Markers H, I and J signifying a find. A piece of decaying fabric pulled up, photographed and bagged in the same patch of dirt as other pieces unearthed in previous days. Potential progress even as the rain bucketed down. Police Commissioner Mick Fuller delivering a pep talk on day eight of the gruelling dig. We're all staying hopeful, particularly with the search continuing, that we can find answers for William and his family in the community. With no significant breakthrough and 100 mils of rain in 48 hours. We are certainly confident in terms of the leads that we are working on. The most senior detectives on this case are in the thick of it, raking, shoveling and sifting soil with their hands, determined to find those answers. It's not easy work. The rain has not stopped today. The man former detective Gary Jubilin focused on lives just around the corner and is keeping a close eye on the search. Paul Savage telling Nine News he is now considering whether to follow Bill Spedding and sue police. The amount of lies that have come out of your mouth. I'm not lying. As current investigators continue to focus on the sole person of interest in the case, William Tyrrell's foster mother. She and her husband are charged with common assault of a child who is not the missing three-year-old and William is not connected to that case. The charges will be mentioned in court tomorrow. Kelly Fedor. Nine News.